What's up guys? So I have a confession today. I bought another freaking GoPro 5. Man, but I'm gonna tell you why. Alrighty, so we're just gonna place that little guy there. Hopefully I can hit the record button and it'll work. Is that how that one works? It's how the session works. It is, awesome. Okay, well now we have that view. So I'm gonna answer a couple questions first and then we will get into the topic of the vlog. One, if you notice the helmet I have on, what is that plane? I keep seeing that plane fly. Anybody that's in the army or air force or whatever the hell you are, what is that plane and why does it do cool stuff like that? Someone tell me please. So if you're looking at my helmet, you're like, Chase, that is not, I repeat, not an Icon variant. You would be correct. This is my um, Icon Airframe Pro Halo Carbon. And it is my motor vlogging helmet for my first rides only. So if you notice, I've got all the shenanigans up front. Uh, this is the camera I use for uh, my first ride. So if you've seen those videos, you know where this helmet is coming from. And uh, yeah, I'm currently, I've got my new helmet set up, but I'm running into a couple issues that I'm kind of figuring out right now. Which is why I'm wearing uh, this Airframe Pro Halo Carbon. I can't say the name seriously. So seeing the new helmet set up, this is actually going to be the vlogging camera. I still have faith that I'm going to get it working. Just got a couple, you know, you, you every time you have a new setup, you always have a couple kinks that you got to work out. Something else that I've been getting asked a ton of uh, is, so did Triumph actually give you that motorcycle? Because everybody sees me on the Triumph 675R Daytona thing. And, uh, you know, that's that's an understandable question. And no, this is a long-term loader bike. It is not my own bike. I do have to give it back at some point. That point is actually coming up very soon. So if you guys are a fan of the Daytona 675R, I am sad to tell you that its time is near. Not many more videos will be seen with the Daytona. Though it has been an amazing experience, and I love this bike. I would appreciate it if you paid attention to the road, thank you. This traffic is terrible. Do I do the motorcycle thing where I go in the other lane and then just skip ahead? I think so. Even though I didn't skip ahead very much. God almighty, this traffic is so bad. At three? At three? Really? So in other news, um, I'm changing companies that I do Chase on Two Wheels shirts with. If you go to my website, chaseontwheels.com, um, there might be a description thing that says c 2 merch, whatever. If you go to one of those, it'll take you to this website that sells c 2 shirts. And um, I just haven't been happy with that website. It's Spreadshirt, if you're curious. I just don't like the way they do stuff lately. And I didn't give it a lot of thought for a while. And I got this opportunity for this other company to take over my, t my uh, shirts, like c 2 shirts. So, um... If you guys click over into the shirts and you see a brand new web page, uh, that's why. Hopefully these guys will be pretty cool. So far they've been uh, pretty awesome and they do shirts for some pretty big YouTube channels. So I'm hoping they'll be very YouTube friendly and awesome. Let's keep our fingers crossed. You can check the link in the description. I'll put it somewhere down there. If I'm not mistaken, that is all the news I had to handle. Now, back to this GoPro. The question is, do I take the little baby session, pull in the the mirrors and lane split I mean I could fit it's a big enough lane is there thinking about lane splitting emoji oh the want is so real can't stand it much longer you know what man you know what it's not legal but you know what you know what sorry session just for a moment I promise all right, I'm taking a right at the light. I'm taking a right at the light. I'm taking a right at the light. Woohoo! We made it through triple! Oh, that's intoxicating. I can't do that. All right, clutch twist up and go. So anyway, back to the GoPro. So if you guys remember a couple of videos back, I made a video called something about GoPro Hero 5 and taking it back. So, you know, being a motor vlogger, I gotta get the new GoPro, gotta check it out. I've been using GoPros literally since they came out, so I can't have a new one come out and not check it out. I checked out the Hero 5, 
and I was like, you know what? For a moto vlogger, for a moto vlogger, that's what I make my videos for. It's a moto vlogger review. I have a GoPro 4 Black. It's in the front of this helmet right now. You can see it. And that this camera works fine. I got 1080 60 at Super View. I think the quality is solid. So I'd really have no reason to upgrade. Now, if you give me like 4K at 60 or something like that, I can totally start thinking about upgrading. Uh, so basically in that video I said the Session 5, the this little camera, that's the true hero. That thing's awesome. And uh, so much to the fact that I'm making it my new uh, motor vlogging camera helmet thing. But, and I took my old uh, GoPro Hero 5 back. And the other day I had a situation come up where I was like, you know what I need? I need a GoPro Hero 5. And that situation is not for motor vlogging, but, oh my god, another jet? There's more jets? I can't motor vlog with jets. God, jets are like really, they, they catch your attention. How do you fly a jet and like the enemy not know? Like if I was the enemy and I saw a jet, I'd be like, ooh, a jet. So the reason I got another GoPro 5 is for my freaking honeymoon. For you guys that don't know, um, not this New Year's Eve, but last New Year's Eve, I proposed to my absolutely beautiful, way cuter than me fiance Heather. And uh, our wedding is coming up and we have our honeymoon afterwards. And we're gonna go, we're gonna do the whole like tropical resort thing. And uh, I was thinking about the, uh, the type of camera I wanted to uh, have for that. Why would you stop so soon? So I was sitting there thinking, you know, we're gonna be at a beach. We're gonna be like in the water and all this other stuff. And I'm thinking of what kind of camera I want. And I have my little session that I could take, but I'm not gonna have a screen on it. And that's the last thing I'm gonna be wanting to do on my freaking honeymoon is have all these screens, all these cameras. How, what the hell is this road doing right now? Oh my god, this is literally terrifying. What in the shit? Get me out of all of that. <laughs> no, no thanks. Uh, yeah, so we got our honeymoon coming up and we're gonna be in a tropical resort place and I'm like, man, I want I want this quality, like out of this GoPro, but I don't have a screen on it. And yeah, I could get a GoPro Silver, but like, why would I get an older model if I'm able to get a newer model? So that video stabilization so if we're on like a bumpy bus going to some cool little resort thing i got stabilization it's just the gopro hero 5 is thinking of it in a non-motor vlogger sense it's an awesome little camera and it's really great if you're you know gonna be hand holding it or for a daily vlogger or something like that i think the gopro 5 is a freaking awesome camera i'm gonna park up here at front because nobody did before I continue the story, now that I don't have to talk so loud, <laughs> I'm going to go drop off this ride apparel stuff. Hashtag ride positive. This is a perfect opportunity. This motor vlog is brought to you by Ride Apparel, the positivity motorcycle riding brand. If you want to be positive and ride motorcycles, make sure to check out rideapparelco.com. Hopefully nobody steals uh, the motorcycle, the gloves, or the two GoPros. That would be shitty. In case you were curious, ride apparel mission absolutely accomplished. Okay, now uh, all the business is done. Now we can just cruise around and talk to ourselves. Yeah, so GoPro Hero 5, I decided that was the action camera I needed to bring with me. Oh, and I also realized I said a second ago, why don't I just get a GoPro Hero Silver? I'd get the screen on the back. But you know what? Then you have to have a case around it. Whereas the GoPro Hero 5, totally waterproof, the whole thing. So if I drop it in a jacuzzi tub, if I throw it in the ocean, it's all good. I love it. Like, if you look at the GoPro Hero 5 as a travel camera, it is awesome. It's only, it's only in the small niche where you look at it as a moto vlogging camera where it becomes like, eh, that's not the best, it's not the greatest. But you know, even for a motorcycle rider that's not a motor vlogger, having a camera that you can just sit on the outside of your of your bike and it doesn't matter if it gets wet or not, it's 
pretty awesome too, man. Just saying. I didn't look at the positives of it because I was so focused on judging it for my needs, which is a fair review or whatever, but I just want to be fair about it because it is a good camera. Oh, something else I got I haven't showed you guys. I don't even know if I'd have an opportunity to show you guys, but so the, I got the GoPro 5 so we could do like general video at the uh, honeymoon. But I also wanted a, a more serious camera. So I picked up the RX100 Mark V, I believe. And that would have been cool. But dude, I got this waterproof housing for it and it looks sick. I am so freaking excited. That's a good view of that stadium. I am so excited to take this thing out. Like for real, when I get home, I'm gonna uh, get a little video of the waterproof housing. Look how big this thing is. Like for real, that's the camera and that's the housing. Is that not sick? Dude, I am gonna be all up in the snorkeling game, that gold wing doe. So all of you people that watched my GoPro 5 taking a bag video, I now take back the GoPro taking back video. <laughs> I ended up buying it again for a whole different reason, but you know, you live and learn and your situations change. But anyways guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Let me know what your favorite camera is for like travel videos. Like when you take it with your family. Uh, let me know what y'all's favorite camera is uh, and we'll have a little conversation in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you did not like this video, well, let me know why in the comments. And then by all means, skip like that dude did <laughs> over to the dislike button and hit that bitch. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this ride and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Later. Bitch, I swear to God. <laughs> oh Lord, triumph. You make me do shit like this. Oh.